This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Quartz. Leave a comment down below if you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another fish tank review. What? Dude, where's the clapping? You have to clap. That's that that's what you do. You have to clap. Can I just can I just not clap for once? Like, I'm not a monkey. No. No, you are a monkey. Clap. Clap now. Clap or we're not watching. We're not going to subscribe or smash the like button if you don't clap. Are you are you serious right now? Is that all I am to you? Yeah. We're not going to ask again. Clap now. Fish tank review. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful time. We survived 2020, baby. It's 2021. I don't know what's next. Maybe we meet some extraterrestrials. Today, I'm sponsoring my own video again. Chris for Thought, the best way to support the channel right now is to check out my second channel, Chris for Thought. You like mukbang? You like reviews of food? Snack review? Cooking? And Chris? Chris for Thought, get into it. Subscribe now. Huh, what's that? Where's my crested gecko, Rapashi? Irrelevant. This is so ironic. Ironic and moronic. Oh, ew, what? I was gonna say, I was gonna make a joke like, yeah, you you definitely seem like you're on pills if you're keeping a fish tank in your pill case. How many pills do you... Why are you on like eight different pills? That can't be healthy. There's there's more natural ways to to get something done mentally. Obviously, I'm sorry to those who actually truly need to take eight pills but come on that's crazy for the average person and are you serious about drinking that water especially with goldfish goldfish are one of the most dirtiest fish not like that you sick freak dirtiest as in like a lot of poop again not like that oh my gosh what is what are people and they excrete this like bodily fluid oh my god <laughs> this tank is sent in by lizzie block some of you might have heard of lizzie block because She's quite famous, actually. I just want to say I'm sorry for <laughs> featuring this tank now. I know it's not Christmas anymore. I just, it's a very, it's either a very, very early Christmas in 2021 or just a tad bit late. Let's go with the a little late on the Christmas thing. You had to set this up and make it Christmas theme. So I thought I'd help and and make that last a bit longer, you know? We always set it, set up our lights, and then we have to take it down like two weeks. What you have done here, Lizzie, or what I have done to help you is immortalize this piece of Christmas that you have made. So you're welcome. By the way, this was also an Instagram post, and I don't know, I, I don't feel like I should rate it because I got people to rate it on my Instagram, which, you know, fish tank review by you guys on Instagram, so follow me up on Instagram. Follow Lizzie Block on Instagram too, here's her um, handle. Y'all rated it like 5 out of 5 real quick, so there's nothing much I'm gonna say. Lizzie is pretty much the superior aquascaper, like compared to me. I mean, I don't, I, what am I doing? I don't usually compare myself, but if you were to compare, I, moving on. Sadistic Bastard. Can I say that on this PG-13 show? Sadistic Mustard put a beta in a tank filled with one water bottle. Kind of, kind of confusing, confuzzled premise here. No, there's no water bottle in the tank. I think they meant the only water that's in there is from one singular water bottle. So they're trying to say it's not that much water for a fish, for a betta fish. Little cricket transport thing. You wouldn't even house crickets in this because they'll just die in like three days. You gotta put crickets in like a bigger crate. This is where I put Rapashi. This is the size I put Rapashi in when I have to clean her enclosure for 10 minutes. This tank is sent in by Ain Ford. I was gonna rate it. I was gonna do a fish tank review, but then I saw Cory Gang. A hey. Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang. Five gang. out of five. Stand Easy. Down. Now, this is not an excuse to spam me with Cory Gang pictures in your fish tank. This is just a one-time thing. I'm not gonna rate all of them five out of five, okay? Or maybe I will. I don't know. Don't do it. Do you think people are ready to initiate contact with us? That's my extra. I'm pretty sure they sound cooler than that. Or, or maybe they sound exactly like that. Nobody knows. Oh, I gotta give a different voice. Actually, no, they all have the same voice. Let's look at their interests. Fishbowl. Looks like we have surpassed them long time ago. I mean, do you really need the fishbowl to tell you that? It, it wasn't your cranial mass? behind your head, that huge tadpole of a mess. People make fun of our foreskins. 
People make fun of our foreheads for being too big, like humans. But we're gonna make fun of you. You know the joke. That's not even relevant anymore. What did I do? What did I do? Restart. Fish tank review. Frank F sent in this fish tank. Big, beautiful green. I love the jumble of moss. Some people don't like that wild look. They're like, trim it, bro. When's the last time you got a haircut? I say, leave it, bro. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous big sword in the right corner. And you got a gold cloud mountain minnow species tank. Hey, work it, bro. That's that's awesome. 4.35 out of 5. Keep it up. This episode's bonus secret comment is Monte Carlo. At a local sushi place. Wow, that's where they get their Mountain Dew drank. Man, how messed up would it be if you order some Mountain Dew? I don't know what sushi place is serving up Mountain Dew as a option for beverage, but if you order it and then they... They just open the fish tank lid and they scoop some of that water and just pass it onto your table. Actually, this makes more sense if I said green tea. This is a sushi place. Why would I go Mountain Dew and not green tea? Actually, the green in that tank, it's like algae. It helps with the nitrates. It also helps feed the goldfish passively a little bit. So it's actually not the worst thing. It's actually quite bene- Can I stop saying the word actually? It's quite beneficial in many aspects to the goldfish. It's just not very aesthetic. Okay, that took me a while to to figure out what the heck I'm looking at. I thought that was like some some acid or something, but it's a it's a coral frag. So for saltwater people, uh, or for freshwater people who don't know, coral frags are apparently quite they, they can be quite costly. But here we got 99 cents, which is great. That's a bargain. But then <laughs> 99 cents plus 40 dollars shipping. It's always like that. The shipping is where it kills you. Perfect time to support your local fish stores because you don't have to pay for shipping. They pay for the shipping for you. Full beta fish bowl setup. I beg to differ. And that's not a bowl, by the way. That's putting your betta fish into a cup and then taking more of its water, taking more of its space resources, taking that up with these crappy artificial marbles, artificial crappy plastic plants that's gonna cut its fins and a lawn chair like what are you trying to do the only thing here that's slightly useful i would say is the turkey bastard turkey baster you can load up some bloodworms in there whatever food you want it makes for easy feeding rip i sent them a message Ooh, i i would love to see that message of yours whatever you sent look at that can you imagine Pretty sure this is 70 US dollars. So how much is that in other currencies? Holy cow. The audacity for someone to sell this for a whopping 70 bucks. That's, that's scary. Please, please don't let this be you. My Asian instincts cannot, cannot allow you to do such a sin. This is what my local pet store thinks is a good size to keep bettas in. Ah, oh, man. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not like these are all very bad examples of what a bad fish tank or fish bowl should look like. Are you sure they're not trying to do that? I don't know, man. If I see this, I'm turning tail and running the other way. I mean, come on. This is supposed to be a place to sell you fish products. If they're selling you stuff that will kill your fish effectively, why would you shop there? Ooh, yeah, a hundred bucks. Oh, wow, what a deal. It was 120, but right now it's on sale for a hundred dollars. Is that Perel? Is that hand sanitizer? Why is hand sanitizer beside this fish tank? Do they sanitize the fish? One of the comments says Petco, they will get you to buy anything. They probably tricked this guy into buying a 10 gallon for a baby Oscar. But also do your own research and don't, don't expect to rely on the people at Petco who are working because a lot of them are just high school students, university kids that need a job. They've never kept fish in their life or maybe they did, but they're not experts. Tom Waring sent in both of these gorgeous tanks. I love the different textures and the levels. You're playing with the levels and it's great. Might be a tad bit on the small side for two different schools of fish. I don't like putting in schooling fish in these smaller tanks because they truly do need a bigger tank to flourish. And on the left we have this uh, cylindrical shape. Both of these are aquascaped very well. You're working with the textures and the colors. They are superbly natural. Both of them together, I'm giving them a 4.65 out of 5. Keep it up. We told someone we can't sell any fish and their kid threw a tantrum and threw a decoration through the tank. Boy, get your kids in check. I mean, come on. What kind of parenting? Yes, I'm blaming it all on the parents at this point. Like, 
Get your act together, parents. Stop raising the next baby Hitler. Don't have kids if you're not even going to try to give them an upbringing that, that teaches them any form of respect. I need to know what happened next. The parent and child immediately ran for it. Holy crap. You'd think a parent who's, who's gotten to the life stage of actually birthing a child and raising a child should be a little more grown up than that. The closest employee ran over and started grabbing fish to get them back in tanks. Hey, yo, my bro, that is, that brings a tear to my eye. Cause you know what? Shattered glass, that's embedded all throughout the, the fish that are fallen. This guy literally is selfless. Probably got some cuts from the shattered glass just trying to pick up the fish, you know? Doesn't care. There are lives at stake. This guy is a hero. I had my back turned doing something else and turned around to that chaos and got over there as fast as I could with a mop and a bucket. The fish all managed to live, if you're curious. You guys, you guys are hometown heroes, baby. Guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Can't stop thanking these people who are watching until now, supporting this channel, supporting this video, just simply by watching it. Secret comment club, what is up? The secret comment of this video is Pearlweed. Don't forget to go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.